Hello, and welcome to another episode of Third Action. I'm your lovely host, Jason, and these are the same three, uh, I don't know, New Year's celebrants that were here last uh, year. <laughs> In the bottom left, we have Asher Ford, Human Ranger, played by Char. 2023. Uh, I actually thought it was 2023 last year, so <laughs> you finally caught up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Longest year. <laughs> In the bottom middle, we have Greshi Ironroot Halfling Druid, played by Will. Hey, I thought it was still 2021 or something. Oh. Okay. Have we actually moved to the future finally, or are we still in the past? Will's I don't living even know in the past, then. Uh, and Gun, uh, Gun Show Human Champion of Arastal, played by Adam. Are you past, present, or future? Um, I, kind of, I think I probably peaked in around 2016, and it's all been downhill since then, so. Ah, extreme pass, all right. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> here to Better summon... Than the extreme present. <laughs> uh, here I am to summon you all from your uh, deep rune well layers and bring you back to the land of the living. Uh, welcome. Uh, so, <laughs> last time on third action. Uh, Greshi was murdered! Uh, <laughs> uh, Greshi got turned into a big old pile of dust in the snow uh, by one mithril mage, Ordicon, um, in your battle against three of Karzug's top lieutenants, uh, Ordicon, Lucretia, and the revived Glorifex. Um, Despite Greshi's death, you were able to come out on top in the encounter. Um, you burned the bodies and took Greshi's ashes back to uh, his mother and uh, her wife, question mark. Um, the uh, Nyad, um, uh, yes, yeah, part, partner's fine. Um, uh, fuck, her name is Svalenka, haha. Um, you took them. Uh, took his ashes back uh, and were able to assemble the components for a uh, a reincarnation ritual, uh, reincarnate rather, uh, bringing Greshi back from the dead, uh, but since he didn't have much of a body, a new body was needed, uh, and this time he formed into uh, the body of a halfling, which is fun. Um, so, uh, I believe uh, I left you all with uh, a lot of crying and uh, smiling and a big dog pile of hugs on top of uh, Greshi's naked body in the cold, frozen uh, ice mists. Um, it only takes a few moments for you, Greshi, to realize just how cold you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, I'm in a group hug, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, could somebody get me my clothes? Please. So, Where are the clothes? I don't we know. Did we leave them? Did we leave them inside? Hmm. I think we left them inside. Let's, come here. Let's go back inside. <laughs> I thought you'd appear with clothes. I, I, why? I thought he was supposed to be a dog man. Yo, was what? the other guy naked? Wait. So I guess. Did he what? have clothes? What have you all done to me? Spell doesn't just turn people into dogs. It <laughs> oh, must do something else you... entirely. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you really reincarnate me? What the hell? What else were we supposed to do? We didn't have your we're body. We're a little bit stressed for <sighs> time and resources. I I mean, sure. I don't I don't know. I was dead. I We also <laughs> killed the dragon and the guy and that that other wizard, by good, the way. Good. Oh, you you took care of him for me. Yeah. Appreciate that. Where, where, where's Phelan? Oh, oh and uh, Phelan, think, Phelan's uh, right there with you. He's, I think um, Asher has uh, something to, to show you. Do I? Don't you? Didn't that? Oh no, you? Asher does. Oh, Asher. My, my. Okay, what? so Asher got the kill on <laughs> my. Yeah, I think you can see it in the art too. The little. It's covered by his hair. It's, it is a bit covered, isn't it? <laughs> you can, like, uh, I, you can cover yours up a bit. I can't quite so well. It's like, or at least I couldn't at the time. 
I did not, in fact, add it to your art this time. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> I was like, I don't think you could possibly see it in the art. I, I was <laughs> going to try, and I looked at it. Conveniently, and was there's like, hair in the way. You, you have a lot of hair in, yeah. in the spots where it would be visible, so I didn't bother. Um, yeah. But yes, you do have the mark doing. of wrath visible on your forehead. Um, Gretchen, who's yeah. looking up I at you, can, you, can see you. it under your bangs. <laughs> well, that's... I am glad you killed him and you took care of the dragon, you said. Okay. Yes. What? Greshi, don't you think you should be Ma's? thanking your friends? I, your ma says. Can I go in sidewards cold, warm first? <laughs> Still freaking cold. Greshi's going to start running for the for the shack. <laughs> just, there it goes. <laughs> just little, little hob, ho, halfling feet just... <laughs> Wait, just Naram kind of just like... Folds her arms. It's uh, it's fairly deep, so <laughs> he's it's it's he's not jumping, easy. Jumping but I'm also very, very light. I'm light. I'm like true. Four he's not or something. He's not necessarily breaking through the snow terribly deeply. Um, he's not. He doesn't have all of his equipment and stuff weighing him down at the moment. So um, just a. It is a, a bit of a hop, <laughs> skip, and a jump, though. Nude flesh on cold, wet snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sagreshi ducks inside to gather your things. Try and warm uh, up and get some clothes. Cuts. Uh, yeah, there's a, a fire going inside, um, and you see there's uh, your your clothes and things set up in a nice little pile. Um, your outer robes are pretty badly damaged, um, but the snakeskin suit is totally fine otherwise. And I mean, your your robes have been. That a lot of them are rags anyway, worse. so that they, they've seen worse. There's a giant hole where the beam shot through, I think, and yeah. I'll have to mend that at some point, but otherwise, there's enough layers that I can kind of cover up to... I always thought of it as a pretty small, tight beam, like the size of, say, a quarter. I believe that's correct, but it also would expand, wouldn't it, once it starts disintegrating things? Oh, maybe, yeah. Because, I mean, it didn't just shoot a little hole through me, I just... Right, it, or, it certainly takes out your your yeah, whole body. I would, I would say I that the like was just, uh, maybe about this big, uh, burned a about the size of a palm, kind of. <laughs> um, I, well, decent size hole to have to patch yeah, up. The, in those the target holes. is you, rather than your stuff. Right. Well, regardless, I'll start putting my clothes on, and luckily I have some extra ropes. I'm going to use that to kind of tighten things up because none of this fits anymore. It's all way too big. I'm swimming in this. Oh. Roll sleeves up Did it fit in the first seven place? times. I mean, kind of, sort of. It was built then too, but it's more or less, you know, my height. It, I'm now dragging half of my clothes on the floor, <laughs> it feels like. Some of it I thought was uh, was too big, and some of it was definitely a little bit too small. What was too small? I was wearing everything appropriate it's for my size. Snake skin. I don't well, feel it fits snake skin. Small, was it just right? <laughs> <laughs> it fits just right. Oh, it's supposed see to look like that. every bit of pudge. <laughs> the snakeskin bodysuit is magical. Up. It actually it, it conforms to the body shape. So when you slip that back on, it it like tightens up in the areas that are a bit flabby, um, and firms things like, up properly. Yeah, That's perfectly nice. firms you. Yeah, like spanks. Um, yeah, there we go. Exactly. Spanks. So if actually, you don't seen... see much flabbiness when Greshi's got his thing on at all. It's just when he's naked. It's awful. If you've seen G Gundam, it it's the out. it's the sequence when they get in their their suits and the little plaster comes over them, uh, and like perfectly firms their their ass cheeks. It's very it's very taut. <laughs> uh, well, and that's really important when you're out and about is making sure those ass cheeks are firm. <laughs> well, gonna finish getting dressed and all my clothes up on and everything. I'll get my stuff together. Whatever else here, I assume you all <laughs> gathered everything for the most part. Um, though I will ask. Did anyone think to grab my wand? What wand? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I just want a confirmation that nobody else remembered the wand too. So I've left my wand behind, unfortunately. I think we... We asked the spared to search around for anything that we... that might have been left behind. Maybe they'll have it. Maybe they'll they find might. it. They it might. It was in the rubble someplace, so I have no idea where it might have ended up. I just ended up dropping it real quick on the stairs there. But, um... Well... Alas, that's how it's going to be. Anyway, um, thanks for bringing me back to life. What the heck am I supposed to do? You're all so big now. 
Why? I don't even know how I'm supposed to get on to Phelan. Oh, God. Uh, Gretchen goes over and starts trying to hop onto the <laughs> the oh. saddle. <laughs> he's lost like a foot and a half, so he's just desperately trying to get grab onto something your so mom, he can pull himself the rest of the way up. Your mom kind of instinctually steps behind <laughs> you and like kind of like pushes you. <laughs> Does the toddler lift? Hasn't <laughs> had to do that since I was very young. Oh, this is not my best day. I, you've <sighs> All right. certainly gotten um, smaller. Smaller I, than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she I, starts laughing to herself. Very, very small. I just, uh, what the heck am I in? I didn't come back as a dog person or anything like that. Uh, <coughs> Got to shave now. Damn. Well, you finished off the dragon and such. Now what do we do next? Now that I guess I'm back alive and tiny. Um, I guess everyone's dead. I guess we have to go up the mountain. Yeah, I think There's we're left, right. <laughs> I think our job here is done, and we move on to the job up there. Well, all right. Um, I, I'm sorry. I'm still a bit out of sorts. I suppose I was just dead like ten minutes ago. I just thought of something. Maybe we should have told the giants about the vampires. Mm, it's probably fine. <laughs> uh, well, well, those vampires are oops. on our side, right? And if the giants are also on our Ish. side... For now? Ish. Well, the giants are also not probably going to live there now that... I mean, it's right? possible that we've founded the first good vampire colony, but... Likely, I don't know. It's a well, mess. Uh, Svavenka uh, kind of floats over towards you, and um, well, you are more than uh, welcome to stay with us um, for as long as you need. Um, I know it sounds like you've got another step in your quest ahead of you, but um, please, uh, our, my hospitality. Th this place is open to you as long as you need. Since it's on my mind, uh, you may see large numbers of giants leaving the area in the near future. We should make sure to tell them to leave you alone, but they should probably leave you alone already. Well, I suspect unless they are going to be bad to the nature around, then I should be fine, I think. I. You need not worry about me. I, I'm good at hiding <coughs> in this sort of place. This has been my home for me. Just want to make sure you are aware. Ah, thank you for the notice. I will keep it in mind. Other hmm. than that, we should... I suppose the next thing we should do is check in with the spared see if they found Rushi's wand and then have them lead us up the mountain. They know the back way. I... We don't necessarily need to take the back way now that we've uh, decimated you know, we can the army here. take the back way. Do um, you want to go up today? Or is this future planning? That's next steps. It doesn't have to be today unless we're in a big damn hurry for some reason. Peek outside at the sky color. Is it roughly the same shade of green as before, or is it um, it's noticeably greener? Cloudy right now. It's uh, I guess there's like maybe a pale green tint to the sky. I believe you felt a, a slight earthquake earlier. Do we expect there to be time to rest once we ascend the mountain? 
Are we going up and looking for a place to camp? Or are we going up and assaulting a fortress? I don't know what's up there. Seems like we might want to do some recon. Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I think a... uh, I think recon today would be fine-ish. Um, some basic recon. Um, I, sure. I just don't want to get into too much of a. <laughs> I'm still a little sore, <laughs> if you can believe it. You got exploded and I'm... come back. In I one was exploded. Day. <laughs> I recall oh. how it is. Wait, do you not know how you died? <laughs> I died. I don't know what happened. Well, I don't know. I Maybe you dead. remember when you die and you go, ah, here it is. I'm dying. <laughs> I got the whole, I was attacked by some beam and then suddenly I was back awake and there were. Oh, you didn't have anything else happen in between there. Oh, Greshi. No, you... I do remember. <laughs> there was a lot of color. It was very, it was like very bright, brightly colored things, but I can't really remember much you got hmm. disintegrated you turned into dust I had to collect your ashes from the snow and put it in this jar you were a leaf on the wind briefly. is that why I'm <laughs> like this now you shrunk me with the water or something the water I don't know maybe I didn't collect enough in the wash oh that might have been <laughs> it there's not enough of me to put me back to normal oh no what if I didn't collect <laughs> enough of the I mean, ashes? <laughs> I, I oh, just to go back and... <laughs> so Venko <laughs> was sure <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't no, know. I, I don't believe there was any fault with the ritual itself. It is just not... But when <laughs> someone is brought back through the power of primal magic, it uh, does not always bring you back as you were. This is a, a new body, not the old one. The Greshi that you knew is, um, it's gone forever. Well, that's a nice way to put it, I suppose. I am right here, though. Mostly, I guess. Feel like so a rope ladder not. for Phelan. Something. God. I have rope. We can make a rope ladder. I used a lot of mine trying to get the clothes to fit. So if we could use some of yours, that might be useful. Yeah, I think I have a bunch somehow. Um, that said, I do agree with Gon. We should check in with the spared mm -hmm. soon, I think. And perhaps some... Um, Masa Venka, I appreciate your offer to let us stay tonight, but I don't I don't think that's I don't think we have time. I'm sorry. I feel real awful about that. No, it's it's fine, it's fine. Uh, you uh, it, it's fine. She's uh, your uh Gulsdom says as she uh kind of turns and starts to walk back towards the house. You're gonna climb down off of Phelan and follow her? Being slightly slower. Well, actually, slightly faster. <laughs> Despite being hustling somehow faster than I was this far. So, hold on, Ma. Ma. I. She, she'll stop. We have. I don't want to leave yet. I. I'm sorry. Okay. I. Huh. Didn't... No, there's. Uh, there is a mad wizard from thousands of years ago trying to take over the world. It, he lives up on the mountain. Not sure if we went over that last time we were here. Uh, you did, and I, I understand. That is that is why I, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. My, my son died, and you brought him back. There's... She's speaking with her back turned, um, mm -hmm. not looking at anyone. Um, I'm just the same useless ghouls that I've always been. He's in more than good hands with you. 
Go on, save the world. I. And when you come back, uh, maybe I'll have cookies ready. Am I quite kind of quiet? I'll turn it back up. It's. <sighs> if uh, if you care to come with us, part of the way. That would be a something for you and Greshi to discuss, but I wouldn't stand in the way of anyone like helping us, you know. No, it's it's I, fine. I'm I'm just being emotional. That's that's it. It's nothing. I I don't want to worry you all. Please, it's just going to make me feel worse if you. Grishy will walk up behind his uh, mother and give her a hug. You know, kind of reaching up a little bit, but not too much, too much more than normal. She'll pause a moment and then you, you hear her start to sob and she'll turn around and kneel down to hug you from the front. <laughs> it wasn't the way I wanted to come back, but I, I'll, I'll come back. <laughs> as long as you've got friends like these, I think <sighs> she uh, uh, releases the hug and like, kind of puts her hands on your shoulders. You're still the same Greshi to me, so you'll be fine. I am the same Greshi. I'm just shorter, I guess. Uh, maybe you just haven't had your growth spurt yet. Y'all make me younger or something. <laughs> she just turns around. And <laughs> what if we did? Now that you... <laughs> is that how this works? I don't know. Look, this is some... Fey magic is strange, and I'm not sure I fully understand it, but uh, the point is I'm back, and I have good friends, and we'll do what has to be done, and that's she... what matters. She nods and, and wipes her tears. Well, be back. We'll see each other. And in the meantime, you have Savanka. She'll take care of you and you'll take care of her. You're right. Phelan. She stands and <coughs> I kind of calls out to Phelan. Don't let my boy die again. Phelan gives a loud bark. Resolute. Both <sighs> echoes through the snow. All right, go on. You've got the world to save. Okay. Well, how did we get here anyway? Walked. Blue? No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we walked by flying. Okay. It's been a month. I don't know what we did. It's true. It's been a minute. <laughs> we uh we rode rock and everyone else. Oh rode yeah, the I bag. was in the sack. Ah. Uh, is that hmm. I don't know how we're gonna get back very quickly. Uh we might just have to trek it on foot. I feel like it was like a day or so though on foot, wasn't it? Uh, it was like a, some hours, yeah, on foot, like four hours. Okay. You could try sending messages ahead. Ask the spared where to meet us. Or tell them <coughs> we're coming and ask where we should meet them. Huh? I mean, we could just plan to meet them in the... The lair down below. Same lair. Sir, go to. I mean, assuming the giants still control the city... Which, did they ever take control of the city? I think so. Okay. So you killed the mage. We took care of Lucretia. You killed the dragon. Good job on that, by the way. Um, and, and it's dead for realsies this time, right? Did you did behead it by chance? Make it harder? Then bring it back? Yeah, we just kind of left him on... Wait, I can't... I thought that you told him to burn... Get... 
the dragon. Yes, you did. You yeah. built a whole pyre and everything. All right. Dragon is burned. Dragon is gone. Yeah. Not going to come back. Good. Simple. We can stop messing with this. At least not weather quite the same way. Well. Uh, Greshi will attempt to climb back onto Phelan and will fail to climb back onto Phelan. Eventually he'll get up there. I think I'll we'll kneel down to, <laughs> to let you get on easier. You just scrabble up. Phelan, Phelan sees Gun coming over to help out, and Phelan's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, All right, well, let's get to move on then, I suppose. Um, truly, thank you for bringing me back. Sorry about dying on you like that. All right. <clears throat> well, maybe it's been this way for a while, but from now on, I think there's uh, no turning back, really. So, yeah, we should make sure we have everything we might possibly need. Uh, well, I have a scroll of teleport. Do we want to try that? Am I the only one who can use it now? Um, yes, in fact, you are. Yeah. How did oh, actually, this happen? I do have trick magic <laughs> item. I could try to use it. How did I, how did I become a this? I was sort of earmarking that for our trip home. Ooh. Um, at level six. I don't know if it would get us far enough. But regardless, um, at this point, um, I don't know if it would work. I, I don't know what's causing that issue with the um, divination yeah. magics and such. So I'm not entirely sure what could be... Um... Is teleportation divination related or divination adjacent in any way? Uh, no, but it's conjuration. Mm -hmm. That should be... But we were having some difficulties with the um, uh, Srazzle Plums uh, chest. And that would have been conjuration as well. That would have been a transportation effect. Oh, we almost fair. ruined that scroll. So... Speaking of, if we're outside of the effect of that, uh, whatever was causing that, um, do we need to send anything to Strazzleplum quick, like, before we head back into it? I don't think we're out of it, are we? When we're here? I don't know. I honestly, I mean, I know we tried teleporting out in the city and had that issue, and otherwise, I don't know if we've had... If you have to, or anything. If you have detect magic or something similar, you could try to did I prepare Read that there? Uh, ba -ba -ba, did I remember to do that? I have read aura. Would that be sufficient? Yeah, read aura is sufficient. Um, All right. The third eye is still on. Oh, well, uh, duh. Gon's got third eye. He can see basically all the time, I think. Uh, okay, That's sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you kind of attune your senses for a minute um, and try to, like, hard focus on just like the air around you um you can see what what feels like a very faint um so it's like some kind of faint uh maybe like you're not sure what kind of aura this is uh it's like a weird mix of auras um it's like sort of transmutation sort of abjuration um It is, uh, I'll assume that you've done this at least once in the city. It is significantly weaker here, where you are, than it was in the city. That may or may not matter if our destination point is inside the city. I think a lot of things that block tend to block both ways like certainly with scrying I think that's how it works like the scrying effect the anti-scrying effect is on someone and then no matter where you are you can't scry on them if there's some enough. kind of a scramble transportation scramble conjuration then probably best not to risk it then um if okay, Asher think... leads the way could we 
Follow the leader and make it through snow faster by chance. If you give me four hours. I feel like the <laughs> trip was only a couple of hours by by I air. Fly. It's it was about four hours on foot or so, about half a day. So we're gonna get back late in the night if we're going on foot, but I don't I don't have a way to fly that long. Perhaps if well, I get four hours to I'm read sure... my book, <laughs> I can perhaps <clears throat> fly better. <laughs> I'm sure Rock um, can manage with with Greshi, and then Phelan can shrink down. Sure. But yeah, Asher. What if we take the four hours? Asher learns. I'm assuming how to become a bird for a very long forever. time. Forever. Big, a big bird forever. Yes, a big bird forever. Could I write a big bird? It's a huge bird, in fact. Can I write the huge bird? Yes. It. It'd then take a little practicing. It, yeah, it would, it's not it would be easy. easy. Yeah, <laughs> well, you're a tiny little creature on a ginormous bird. I feel like I've been in this situation before with a rock, uh, but that would work. That would get us there, and it'd take us a little longer. But then Asher would have learned this ability, which seems very useful, doesn't it? Yeah. Does my messenger bag get bigger when I'm a big? <laughs> animal and I could put Greshi in my messenger bag. <laughs> um, I would say that it the the actual compartment itself does not get bigger now. Okay. The it like the strap extends so that you can still wear it easily, but it only holds what it holds, yeah. <laughs> so I like just a same comically space small like pouch <laughs> on a huge animal or a gigantic one on a tiny bird. It goes someplace <laughs> from being like a backpack to being like, you know, just well, when you pouch in your belt or something. When you shrink, when you shrink, it does actually scale down, but you can't really. Uh, you can't scale you, it up. I suppose. yeah. You can't fit more in it. The capacity stays right. the same. Yeah. yeah. Alas. It just gets weaker when it gets bigger. So if I try and put something big in it, it just falls. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like plastic. That, as much as I was just telling my ma that we were going to leave and tears and all that, maybe we should just go back inside and read for a bit. I have to read my book. Okay. I think we're turning around going back inside. Uh, <laughs> uh, they express the cookies, some <laughs> surprise. Uh, she immediately gets to uh, making uh, some some nice herbal cookies. That was a joke. You don't have to make cookies for folks. No, 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 no. If you're going to stay, I might as well get do it. And she she's going to get to work on doing that. Uh, you guys are going to take you're taking four hours. Is that correct? It's currently five eleven. I... One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to be real late by the time you get back. Nine hours. Dark. Pass. Can you see in the dark? Oh, it's sorry. Burnt? It's nine p.m. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, I don't think so. I think my thing carries over. Do I get low light even if it doesn't? I think I get low light as animal. For what it's worth, as it starts getting darker, Gresh, will start glancing out the window. And every so often he'll glance out and be kind of, like, confused. As he's looking mm -hmm. out into the darkness. It's dark out there. Yeah, when when oh, once you were able to see in black and white in the darkness, I believe you've now lost full dark vision. Mm -hmm. Do you have low light? My eyes are not quite what they were now. I do have low light for my okay. uh, for my heritage. The heritage. I think I we have with. something. Hold on. Let me dig through my bag for a moment. Did we, we have find? To help with that? Didn't we find some goggles that? We don't really need now. Do we still have them? The goggles. Uh, I, thought I had the goggles. Asher, Asher had the goggles. I thought Asher was doing. Yeah, we gave Asher. I thought Asher was doing permanent, like self cast in the morning, lasts all day type thing. Maybe Asher stopped doing that when he got the goggles. I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I replaced it with another spell when I got the goggles. Uh, okay. Then keep the goggles. Yeah. You're fine. That's. Uh, I, I can cast, I, I can actually prepare that and cast it on myself if need be. I just apparently can't see in the dark anymore. Do you find it interesting That's that true, as a bat, you should be able to prepare again, huh? Oh, well, I not tonight. Start with your spells. 
Oh, yes. You, you have echolocation, so you don't need the dark vision. <laughs> of course, okay. <laughs> so, starting, um, I start with the spells I had prepared this morning, so I will have to yes, take but, long rest. But this morning is actually yesterday morning. Do you guys have a long... Well, I start with the... I come back he with wasn't. the spells I had when I died. <laughs> His, That's his death. I come back guess he hasn't rested, therefore he cannot prepare again. Correct. 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 <laughs> Even if a new day has happened. <laughs> yes. You're right. the, though we say rest in peace, the, the I, I will not on say the of rest beforehand. <laughs> that his um, his disintegration was a particularly restful sleep. <laughs> he's he's also not um, fatigued. He just sort of skipped some time. Yeah. Right. Just suddenly, so, I yeah. There was a bunch of bright colors, and suddenly I was awake and smaller and very cold. No, his soul was, in fact, being uh, hurtled around in uh, whatever plane the souls go to, uh, the river that Phrasma has. Uh, any case, uh, four hours pass, Asher, you finally get to the conclusion that you, you wanted to reach. Uh, you have had an epiphany on form control. I'm so smart. Um, what was this? This gave you uh, like impossible form I'm control or something? Perfect form in. control? No, perfect. Perfect, perfect form perfect control. Perfect now. Fancy. You can now fully Tobias your way through life. <laughs> yes. No one can stop me. I'll never be human again. Mm. Uh, except when I need armor. <laughs> My AC needs to be higher. <laughs> I need to shoot things, etc. Especially True. since you shoot things so well. Yes. Currently, it's doing quite well. Uh, and I can be a big bird or a big bat. Wait. Where are my bird things? Which is easier to ride, do you think? The bird or the bat? And they're all awful. <laughs> Probably the bird is comfier. The bat has like, I guess whatever, what kind of bat? I don't know. What uh, kind they of have bat? fuzzy parts. They do. They have yeah, fuzzy. They're like they got hair. They're called they're flying mammals. foxes for a reason. Yeah. They're, they're very they're cute. Fuzzy. You they're cute. the fur. Fur might be comfier than like uh, feathers. Than feathers. Whatever is comfortable for you, I suppose. But. Uh, I, Man, which one's the fastest? I've lost everything I was looking at. There that's a you good are. Question. Bat bird. I don't think I can do insect or dinosaur, so it's bat and bird. <laughs> that's what you get. Um, the bird is much faster, so I would recommend the bird. All right. For your travel needs. Well, we want to keep up with rock sense. primarily is the concern I have. So as long as we can do that, get there Each quickly. Bird, I will be going 65 feet as my fly speed. I've seen bats fly. They go a lot more. They do a lot more movement around yeah. than they do <laughs> forward. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> that doesn't seem super great. Wait, what's rock speed? Oh, there it is. Rock so rock flies at 70. 70. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm only a little slower. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Just... Well, now that you're transformed, yeah. shall we get going then? Assume we've had some cookies, some, I don't know. Yeah, I, I spent that same time um, meditating on my... The task at my hand. Task at hand, yeah. Okay. Well, um, so since you're going by air, uh, flying back towards the city via the same route that you took, um, we'll call that one, two and a half hours-ish. Real late. Um, so you fly back into the city. Let's see. Uh, where are you? We're going to have a lot of explaining to do point. when people are wondering where I'm at. All right. You guys... They had no idea. So, it, it, what is... Asher is currently a giant question mark? Eagle? Vulture? Uh, bird. What kind Osprey. of bird? Osprey. Osprey. Osprey sounds right. good. Osprey? You said Osprey. Is that the yeah. cool looking... Yeah, it's an Osprey. I like Ospreys. There we Ospreys go. Ospreys are cool. 
Okay. Uh, so Asher is a ginormous osprey uh, that's flying just behind uh, rock and gun. Uh, Greshi is on Asher's back, holding on. Uh, and cool. Um, I let me get actually an acrobatics check from both Rock and Asher in the flight. Oh boy. So you're Time going... to drop Greshi. Time to kill Greshi again. Uh... On it. Please don't drop me. I've only been alive for a very little time. <laughs> Instant death. <laughs> All right, Rock got Rock a forty-five. Is an expert acrobat. Oh. And wow. Asher's also a forty-five. Okay, so nice. uh, fairly legendary acrobat. That's true. Yeah, nice clean uh, flight back up the mountain. Um, the wind is uh, lighter than it was in the uh, earlier in the day, uh, but you are kind of flying up against the wind uh, rather than. Uh, with it when you flew back down the mountain. Um, but you're able to uh, reach the town in a couple hours. Uh, you fly over uh, Crack Naratha. You can see giants um, are... There's some giants gathered around in, in Crack Naratha itself um, as you fly through the city. Uh, where are you going? Down below, I think. On the spared. Where are we? Down here? I think, uh, I mean, the Hidden Slayer's best place so to go that we've yeah, all the way down here. been before, so. Oh, there we are. Okay. No. Hi. So, just find an entrance and try and make our way back, or do we find some giants and check in first? I, I have no idea. Um, before we start flying, we'll send a message to the spared with sending and uh, let them know that we're coming and we'll try to meet someone at the Hidden Beast Lair and the, we'd like to ascend the mountain as soon as possible. Hopefully they'll meet us there. Okay. Um... And specifically to... Um, the guy whose name I can't remember because it's been a while. Morgiv. Morgiv. Okay. Oh, Morgiv. Our good friend. Do you get in touch with Gilcock? Okay. You. So uh, you're saying that you're going to retroactively send a met or do a sending to Morgiv, asking him to meet you at the it, uh, Hidden Beast Lair, or asking him to have have someone meet us at the Hidden Beast Lair. Okay. Um, so that we can start up the mountain. Uh, sure. You get you get. It doesn't some... have to be retroactive. It could be while we're on our mid-flight. Okay. I mean, either way. I, I'm just saying that. Uh, I'm just trying mm -hmm. to get everything straight in my head. Um, well, we'll say you did it uh, at the start before you started flying over there. Um, you got a. A polite affirmative response from Morgiv, like you would expect to. Um, okay, and so you've now flown up to the city. Um, and now you're going to try and just fly to... Uh, you know of an entrance near Crack Naratha, so are you just going to go take that one? Um, yeah probably the closest we actually know well. All right. Um, so, yeah, you fly down to that point. Uh, you touch down uh, in this, uh, on the city streets um, and make your way to the familiar building uh, that you last used when you were visiting Crack Naratha. Um, you make... Uh, is Asher staying in... Yeah, bird form for I this. I guess that would be hard. <laughs> Slowly that walking down the hallway. <laughs> like smushing it now. It would he just will be, not try and smush Asher him. and Brock side by side just kind of waddling down yeah. the hallway as they fall. <laughs> okay, no. so Asher, Asher, Asher reverts to human form. Manageable form. Okay. 
and you make your way down into the tunnels. Um, someone give me a survival check to lead you back to the Hidden Beast Slayer on your own. Uh, I'll let Asher do it. Yeah, I can sure. <laughs> Much better Asher than I am. I think that's an Asher thing. Um, I don't have her to eight, actually, but I don't know if I have good... There you are. Could do the same thing. We were all survival training. Yeah, I'm still trying. I'm only trained in survival. So oh, shit. Else... I have accidentally closed the window. You, uh, 35. Uh, 35. On a survival check to do this. This is a... Okay, that is a, a regular success, so you don't do this any faster than expected, nor do you do it any slower. Um, where I measure a distance, something like, we'll call that 10,000 feet in miles, that's almost two miles in <laughs> to a travel speed. Do, 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 do get my table open again. Uh, going two miles at who's the slowest currently? Um, I'm thirty five now. Walking speed. And if I'm right and failing, fourteen. If we're underground, it's rock, but rock will go ahead and go in pet cash. Okay, so you've got another casting Once we about. land. Okay, so you pet cash sure, him away. Yeah. I'll make sure and use consume those. All right. I I think it's just I, it's either me or it's gun probably then if rocks put away. That's lowest. Are you thirty or thirty five? I think I'm thirty five. So we might actually be at thirty five all around. Well, I'm currently the yeah, slowest. I, I don't. I only have thirty, which is that doesn't make any sense. Well, well, it's my because you... long strider wore off. Yes. Oh, my anklets that's a wore off. <laughs> so currently, it's my base speed plus fleet. Your anklets uh, wore off. My anklets, yeah. Do they... I clicked them together, and they gave you they give you a bonus. So like anything that was giving me a bonus that was possible is gone. Is what okay. I'm saying. So yes. I currently am like at the most basic I could be, which is thirty. <laughs> wow, so I am being the slowest. It's Kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in any case, it's like three miles we, an hour. I'm tired. <laughs> Do we not have some more um, speedy boots somewhere in our that aren't in use? Um, I actually don't think we do. Hmm. And they'd have to be attuned or um, he would invested have to have today room anyway. To invest them, yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Well, in I any have event, my boots of speed that I'm wearing. For the distance that you need to go. Uh, in the caverns uh, Probably that not a big... only takes you a, a little bit under an hour. So I'm just going to call that one hour. All right. You know, I guess we should probably at this point leave first thing in the morning because it is late. Well, it is midnight. Uh, it is now toil day. Abadius the 29th. Hey, it's first thing in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> uh, where's my little date tracker? Date, 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 date. Toil day, body is 29. Yeah, I technically still have the boots of bounding, but they're not on me. A body yeah. is January? Yes. Yes. I. So we have almost caught up with our real date. <laughs> almost. Sorry, our real date has almost caught oh, up yeah. with our game day true yeah um okay um so you make it to the uh the hidden beast slayer uh where morgive and a few others spared are uh gathered around um they have a few um sacks of things with them um and morgive uh, excitedly waves oh uh, there you are i, I was I, I heard your voice. I, I, I couldn't quite understand everything that was said, but I, I, I hope that we did the right thing. We were meeting here, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, good. It's not a problem. Um, As you can sort of see, Greshi is back with us. Oh, that, that, that's where is me. he? Over here. Hi. Oh, 
Oh, down. Look down. <laughs> down over high. Not that Morgue short. Falls, but... Right, Morgiv does have to look like down at you. Foot. Um, Isn't he particularly <laughs> tall? I feel like he was like. Yes, Morgiv is very lanky. <laughs> Um, uh, he is like very hunched, but uh, oh, um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, that's a, a nice look. Um, is this some sure. sort of spell? It's definitely different. You heroes are so amazing. I didn't know yes. you could change forms like that. It was definitely a spell. Uh, not not easy to change, <laughs> so probably not going to be changing back anytime soon or at all. You all really are the second comings of Mesmina. Um, uh, I, I've heard that she was able to uh, manifest different forms as well. Uh, really? But what kind of forms? Um, uh, they spoke of many different faces that she could uh, take on. Um, she was capable of turning into animals of all kinds. Um, creatures of beyond imagining. Um, she was a very powerful um, enchantress. Um, not enchantress, um, sorceress? Wizardess? Um, I'm not very good with magic myself. I, I, I don't really know the, the right terms to use, but um, she, she was very powerful. <laughs> Influencer? <laughs> Thank you, Cap. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, uh, oh, oh, um, while you're here, we, uh, uh, were able to gather some things for you from, uh, the, oh. from Shalaria, um, the, uh, we spoke a bit with, um, Gukak as well, and, um, he said he had some things to tell you at some point. Um, but uh, anyway, here. Uh, and they will uh, kind of bring you over some bags of stuff. Um, where did I put them? Do, 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 She's going to start sorting immediately. Uh, Whee! Let's see what we got. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Shalaria Treasure. I'm just going to drop it here on the map. Why is the camera not linked? Come to me, camera. There we go. Um, this little box here. Um, should be able to pop that open. Um, so I don't have Turk Vision, cannot see any of those things. Because <laughs> it's night. Uh, fine. I'll, <laughs> uh, there, I'll just transition to daylight on the map. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important okay. that the map is dark. <laughs> yeah, I was just like... <laughs> it did that on its own. I see what you're talking about, I just couldn't see it. See, it's Phil. Um, so, yeah, there's a, a bunch of items that they've got uh, gathered for you, in addition to gold and currency as well. Um, as you're sifting through the items... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's it mm. called? Um, Greshi, your your wand is uh, in there. I just couldn't remember what it was called. Um, oh, that's fine. That's great, actually, though. Uh, Greshi will pull out the uh, whatever wand it was. The items themselves. He finds it, but he's gonna um, be digging first. Uh, there's a a kind of there's a long scroll um, that Borgiv gives you. Um, that uh, is written in very uh, kind of big, broad hand. Um, and it's basically the identification list um, of all the items. Um, uh, Gukak said that y- you should have this. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, he said it would be important to you. Or give, obviously being unable to read, handsy the listing of all the items. Grace, she's still digging through the bag, so if somebody else wants to read that, go right ahead. Um, does chat want me to read all the items out to you, or do, do you like, do this I just want a long list? There's a long list. A long list. Long list. I could I could speed read all the items. 
there. Uh, cool. So inside Lucretia's purse, we have an alluring scarf major, truth potion, mesmerizing opal, choker of elocution. Oh, there's six mesmerizing opals. A choker of elocution, a uh, greater messenger's ring, poisonous, poisonous dagger, dagger of eternal sleep, wand of endure elements level five, scroll of dimension door level five, mm. wand of fly level four, wand of pocket library level three, uh, tears of death poison, king's sleep poison, a major sahedron ring, uh, in Ordicon Satchel, we have an immovable rod, a mercurial mantle, a j a three jade cats, and a jade bauble. A scroll of rewinding step level five, a potion of undetectability, a focus cathartic major, a healing potion major, a rod of negation, a sahedron ring major, a staff of transmutation, a, trans a staff of necromancy, a staff of enchantment, a staff of conjuration. Um, four spell books titled Passion of the Flesh, Eternal Sucker, Might of the Mithril, uh, Might of Mithril, and Servitude. Uh, and then in the other general things that they found at Shalaria, uh, a Greater Berserker's Cloak, a Bracers of Armor 3, uh, Wand of Smoldering Fireballs 9th, uh, Sinu Shock Serum Major, Elixir of True Life, Indestructible Shield, uh, major striking rune, a greater striking rune, a staff storing shield, major, and a plus three armor potency. Uh, the cats and the ball will do it go They're together. Quite some. <laughs> Great chat. These are quite some list of items. <laughs> Sorry, Gracie's. Gracie's eyes light up. Digging through, <laughs> pulling out different things. Oh, he's been, he's excitedly digging through. He's looking over the books, trying to see if there's anything real exciting in there. Oh my goodness, all sorts of spells. I, I, I hope these are useful to you. Uh, we found everything that we could. Uh, Mr. Gukak was very kind to us. No kidding. Well, Extremely useful. Very useful, appreciate it. And we'll go speak with him and tell him we appreciate it as well when we get to see him. But, uh, goodness. These are some fancy spells, ain't they? Spells? Oh, sorry. Uh, Grishy hands over, um, the Passion of the Flesh. Sure. He'll hand, hand over Passion of the Flesh. It's a spell book, uh, written oh. by Delvahin, if you recall her. Oh. So it actually contains every, um, enchantment spell. And there are several other books in here that also are in similar boats. So if any of you need to learn anything for any sort of reason, we have a place to learn it from. It ain't. I'm... I'm looking for the right joke to make about a spell book written by Delvahim. Mm. And, uh... I don't know quite where to take that. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'll be in my bunk. I could be, but um, <laughs> I might take... I, I want to break this room down and learn how to make it, but I'm worried that we won't be able to. I think, yeah, yes, I think that's the right reference. Because <sighs> there's a striking, a major striking rune in here, and we <coughs> use at least two of those. Does Asher not have it, or does he already have a major striking rune? What do I, I didn't think either of you did. Uh, oh, he has. The, he might have the plus three, but not major striking. I believe that's correct. I think that's true. So if we, I'm a little afraid to take this apart because this is a very unusual no. looking rune that I'm not super familiar with. There's also a plus three armor potency rune in there. Also the same situation though. Though, how many of us need that? I don't remember. So just you? Well, well so I believe no one has a plus three armor rune. Oh, that's probably true. I think we all have plus two, don't we? Yeah. That's fair. And there's also, yeah, it's not necessarily true that you'd crank up the tank's AC when the tank's AC is already good. I mean, as long as we keep people focused on you, having them attack you and miss all the time is great. Mm. It's just sometimes yes. hard to keep them focused on you. Yes, exactly. But... Uh... <laughs> There's a shield here that looks like it would be oh. something that I would certainly um, pull that out. Indestructible yeah. shield. I mean, high grade adamantine. 
Hmm. Well, that's fancy. Oh, and another. There, Gresh, you'll pull out another rune stone, but this one has a strange sort of. It, it the rune looks like a box, but there seems to be a strike going through it in a very diagonal but stylized manner. Uh, this one I've seen before, but it's been a, quite a long time. It allows you to combine a staff with your shield, I believe. Is that a rune? Aye. We can put a staff I in your shield. I thought that was a shield. No, I believe it's a rune, isn't it? It says this. No, you're right. It's actually. Yeah, 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 it's a shield. It's a shield. I misread that entirely. Never mind. It's it a wooden absorb, shield. It can absorb a staff and transform oh, between a shield and staff. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. Good for you? Uh, it's wooden. It's very good for me. Excellent. I can put a staff in it, and then I can still use it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just give you the fancy shield. I'll take this wooden-looking one, one. I think you have to it's switch it pretty to... solid. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think yeah, you, have you have to actually switch, switch, switch it to, to switch shield form mode, to use I believe, it as a shield, to use but, it, but... Yeah. But it's still That's good. still fine. Yeah. <laughs> staff... Shield. <laughs> it's a little bad. Yeah, when you just plants, change it from either a steel to a staff or back again. Good gods. <laughs> Many rune stones. Well, uh, we can divvy this up now, or do we want to? It is kind of late. We should probably go to go to sleep or something. I don't know. Oh, I, I don't want to interrupt, but um, uh, I, I have uh, I've spoken with the um, scouts that uh, found the hidden uh, path, and um, should you, whenever you are, are ready, uh, or, or if you, if you wish, uh, I, I can lead you there. Um, uh, no, no, no rush, of course. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, it, it should be safe t to go anytime. Good to know. Appreciate it. Thank you. I think we are definitely resting tonight, but past that... It... Some of this stuff is potent enough. And with it in hand, we can save enough time that it might make sense to spend the time to do some rune transfers, but probably not the time to do some decomposition and and See, crafting. that's what I was afraid of, is the time there would be too much. I, I, I agree with you. I was hopeful, but I do think we uh, have too much to do. Transfers will take... Transfers are pretty fast. Yeah. I, with my abilities, I can do one in an hour, I believe. But just the transfer, and there's mm -hmm. still um, there's still crafting check involved, so technically it could fail. Mm -hmm. Um, but so I want to give Asher the major striking rune, put mm -hmm. that on the fancy bow. My uh, Gun, do you have greater striking on your sword already? Yes. Do you have greater striking on your other sword already? Did okay. you have multiple swords? I know you have remedy, um, of course, but just carrying that. I think the only other thing I, I thought you had a backup for some purpose. A dagger. Okay, well then, never mind. Unless you want it on that, I suppose. I don't think so. It, in fact, is plus two greater striking. <laughs> then never mind. I'll just take it myself. Don't know what I'll apply it to, but I'll put on something. Um, bracers of armor. I stopped using Three? the bow some time ago. I braces of armor three, so this is going to be pretty good if you don't want to wear armor. In fact, I might just take it. As much as I know everybody likes the tightness that the snakeskin uh, <laughs> suit does for <laughs> firming things up. Um, How much of a delta are you, you going to get out of it? I think it's only just a plus one to AC, but... Uh, it's not bad. Well, it's a bonus to AC and saves. And saves. Hmm. So it acts as both, which is... Hmm. Yep, nice. Um, this little one will come in handy. There's a... Let's see. Oh, I guess the... Uh, 
the bracelets of armor do probably have the Sahedron mark on them. This <clears throat> silver signet ring has uh, sending once an hour. Well, that sounds useful, doesn't it? Oh, and you can do Animal Messenger, too. Mm. Sending has been a big deal for us to keep in touch. In fact, uh, damn, if we weren't already this close to the mountain, then it's all failing. We could spend the next day while you're crafting just using this to send messages to all the folks back home. Let them know that we're going in for the for the attempt. Right. It sounds fine to me. Um, I do. If we're are we taking all day to do stuff tomorrow, or are we just taking some time to do the crap, the transfers, just and then moving some on? Some time. Okay. Because these bracers do have the sahedron on them. Hmm. Just concerning. But just as importantly, this version of the runes is, it, is different than what I'm familiar with. Is it worked into the functioning of the rune, or is it decorative? Can you tell? It's functional. It. It's part of the... Um, it's the same sort... It's the same design uh, base that they used for the, uh, the... The same enchantment that I've put on your armor. Okay. Um, that I just had to reconfigure... Yeah, essentially. I think we'll want to avoid using it in its current form then. I just don't know if I'll have the time to try and resort that. So. Hmm. We'll see. But I'm going to hold on to those. Anyway, we'll, we can do a lot of this sorting later. Just more lots of fun things to go through and figure out. Certainly are. Uh, Alright. So, uh, are you scarf. <clears throat> popping open the ex uh, Explorer's Yurt and Resting for the night. Exactly. We'll get that set up and uh, camp out. Uh, eight hours. Anybody doing watches? Or are you just letting the spirit <sighs> watch for you? The spirit are there. They can keep watch. I'm dead tired. I'm just going to go to sleep. Asher. I need to sleep like a he's... few hours. Oh, true. Asher Where doesn't need that much time. Okay. I'm so refreshed. What a okay. what a great sleep. So between between Asher and the spared, you're able to uh, not lose any time resting. You all get up bright and early 9 a.m. Uh, despite your late night and rough day yesterday. Um, I only need two hours of sleep. Damn. Okay. I thought it was nice. four. <laughs> oh yeah, it's two. Okay, that makes more sense. That fits correctly. Um, we have the opportunity to prepare your spells. Um, I'll assume an hour for daily prep for everybody. Uh, the spared are kind of milling about. I do have a question for you, and this is a very important one. Mm -hmm. I see that Lucretia's purse is in fact a bag of holding. It is. But more importantly than that, what does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it's it's like a it's like a really nice um, handbag, but it's also got like a, a fairly long strap um, to uh, to wear over oh, her good. shoulder. That's useful. What kind of what kind of handbag? I'm I'm making um, sure it designer. matches my gloves. Yeah, right? it's it's like a, okay. yeah, no, it's like a it, it is like a designer <laughs> like Louis, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I don't have any you particular have no any Pathfinder <laughs> designers Lucretia in this world. Vuitton. <laughs> uh, it's just like it's like it KZ myself. for Karzu. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the got, travel guide. If we look at the travel guide, I bet there's some names in there. True, there there probably is. Uh, but yeah, it's some it's some very high fashion like uh, uh, leather adjacent sort of bag um, mm. with uh, it's got a gilded trim, like like gilded logo on the sides. Um, it's, I guess, it's very like gold and uh, what are her colors? She she wears a lot of like green. Yeah, it's like golden green. Green, I think. Yeah. Golden green. Okay, well, those are not going to go well with my my look here. Uh, 
She wasn't the redhead. She was oh, redhead. She yeah, she was the redhead. She was, but she was she was redhead. She had a green dress, if okay. I recall correctly. Oh, all right. I mean, I know it's been a menace, but uh, pretty sure. Yeah, she did um, uh, Christmas colors. Then, <laughs> very festive lady. Ho ho ho! Merry Brave. Christmas. Perfect time of year. <laughs> uh, well, I'll toss a bag at uh, you know. Actually, I'm going to attach this bag, this uh, Lucretius purse. I'm going to attach it to Phelan as a saddlebag. Okay. Yeah, you just kind of yeah, you strap the purse to uh, his saddle. <laughs> it's a kind of approximate a saddle bag. Designer bag is a saddle bag. <laughs> Perfect. Designer purse. Uh, there's also Ordicon's, uh bag as well. If somebody wants that one, that seems to also be a bit magical, though. Again, base level bag of holding. But if you all were going to go scouting, I will take the time this morning to uh, prepare, and I will need to borrow your items for transfer, though. So whatever you're scouting with, I may need to borrow. How do you want to do this? I think we should stay together when we go up the mountain. Okay. Um, the, in as much as the spared have located a path for us. We can get to the top of that together, and then we can, yeah, do some additional reconnaissance from there. All right. Well, for the moment, I'm going to get started. I don't know what you all want to do. And Greshi's going to figure out how to work all of his crafting stuff. Now that his hands are, like, a size smaller than they used to be. But uh, we'll start getting to work on trying to transfer. We'll start with the, um, we'll start with transferring the, uh, Rune to Asher's bow. So okay. we'll make his bow. So you're doing the rune to bow. Uh, are Asher and Gun just sticking here for whatever this time period is? Yes. Mm. I think he, I didn't pick up the I first bit of question. Asher's. Okay. Oh. I was mostly clearing my throat. Oh, uh, I, I was thinking of like <laughs> asking if the spared had been, I assume that they've like, if they found this path, that they kind of like know how it goes. So I'm gonna, Asher's gonna go ask them if they can kind of like describe the path. So maybe he can make like a little map or if they've been in it, or if they know there's any dangers in there or creatures or things like that. Um, okay, yeah, you, you talk to Morgiv and the Spared um, that are chilling out with you guys. Um, uh, uh, oh, um, yes, we we actually we found the um, well. It, it was the path that Mesmina um, used to uh, escape the spires um, all those years ago when she led us to freedom. Um, it was um, uh, we know that it's some kind of secret tunnel that leads uh, up the. Um, mountainside um, we've well um, uh, they have found it in um, it's actually in the uh, basement of an old building in the north side of town um, is where the, the entrance is um, the scouts have, were able to take the path um, or take the tunnels uh, a ways to at least confirm that it, it is going in the right direction, but uh, if you go too far up that way, you start to run out of breath and, uh, well, we, we had to turn back. Um, but it, it does seem to be the path of legend. Uh, there's actually uh, carvings on the wall um, from some of uh, we spared that escaped the, the the rising district in the upper city. Oh, do you know uh, what the upper city is like? The rising district. Uh, you can sort of see it from uh, afar. Um, I I know there's currently many. Um, uh, Still, uh, Karzuk's forces uh, in the Rising District, but I, I, I think it's 
largely been uh, destroyed since the time of the Great Calamity. Um, there's not many buildings there or um, places to, to stay. Um, we spared to, don't even um, travel that that way, uh, not since times of old. Um, uh, our tunnel network doesn't extend that far uh, up the mountain. Um, even before uh, the, all of this started happening a few years ago, um, it was has always been a, a dangerous place for us. Um, I, I know that the the Golden Road um, does pass through that region. Um, it's uh, possibly the, the more direct way, but um, uh, maybe, maybe direct isn't the right word. Um, the, the Golden Road, it, it, it winds up the mountain, um, and he would... Uh, there is some kind of space in the, on the ground to uh, kind of lay out some pebbles and start trying to uh, draw out a rough map. Um, and let's see. I can show you. So you guys are like over here somewhere. Let me activate Mahar Massif and move you guys oh, no. over. Oh god. So this is Zin Shalast, the lower city where you guys oh. are. There's a big ass volcano over here to the east of you. Oh. Um, that's what all of the you've you've noticed that from uh, the uh, the entire kind of eastern half of the city has been covered in rubble. Uh, that's what this volcano probably did um, around the time of Earthfall. Um, the the peak of Zin Shalast is all the way up here, um, where there's a set of buildings. Um, and one really large building all the way at the very top. Um, you can only kind of barely see it, but there's a face carved into the, the mountain itself as well. Um, this section here is the upper city. This is where Karzug's uh, sort of intermediate forces are still stationed. Um, let's see. And then can I show you... Uh, will this work? Maybe. So here's the Golden Road. Um, this comes all the way from the south side of town, runs through the eastern part of town, all the way to the northwestern uh, part of the lower district, and then starts to climb the mountain. Um, it is an extremely steep climb in general. Um, the uh, peak is a good... Do I remember the height difference? Um, it's like another 15,000 feet or 20,000 feet or so from the lower district to the, uh, to the base of the peak. Um, the, so yeah, this, this path winds through the, um, the rising district ruins, uh, and then results in a, a meets a bridge over a massive glacier. Um, this glacier is kind of a lower elevation that extends down the, the northeastern side of the mountain. Um, but there's a, a great bridge um, that leads to some spires um, and a couple other buildings that spirals its way up to um, what is uh, some, some large building. The, the spare don't know what the building is called, but they've seen it before when the sky is clearer. Um, that there is some massive green pillar, basically, um, at the at the very peak. Uh, the secret uh, hidden path is somewhere in the northern side of town. Um, and to their best estimates, based on the legend of um, Mesmina, uh, and the path that she took to escape the upper city. Um, that path looks something like this. Um, it is a tunnel that winds. Um, it, again, it's pretty steep going up the mountain, but it winds uh, underground. Um, has some tunnel exits in the uh, the rising district, 
uh, but otherwise supposedly uh, ends up somewhere in uh, the near the peak of Zinshalast. Um, and hypothetically bypasses the the bridge and probably any defenses that are in the, the rising district. So those are kind of your hypothetically. two. Hypothetically. Yeah, hypothetically. So those are kind of the two like Looks main routes. Somewhat longer, but <clears throat> I suppose the shorter poop route is probably better. Poop route? Well, there's the brown route and there's the gold route. So there's, so there's I'm gold. I'm surprised and the poop. that he got out such colorful markers for this. <laughs> wow. Those are those are of my design and not. <laughs> he doesn't have that <laughs> <laughs> detailed of like charcoal paints lying you around. Get some mud Rip from the ground and start drawing a line on it. There we go. Nice chalk set. It. Some Crayola. <laughs> Car Carzola. The poop and the pee root. I, I think the poop <laughs> root do. sounds the better option. It is the poop and the pee root. At least we could take it halfway and poke our heads out and then keep going if we want to. Uh, so this overlap is actually an overlap, you think? Uh, oh, it's, uh, I mean, his... A point at which you could transfer. Or a uh, wait for yeah. at some point. It's not, yeah. we could exit nearby and then kind of make our way over to, it wouldn't be like actually a T crossing or something, but. Yeah, the, the overlap, so the tunnels, uh, the spared think go, are, are fully underground. Um, there might be some areas where they come out or are exposed, but they're not sure. They've only taken the tunnels basically up to the rising district. So they're only really sure about that part of the path. They don't know, they don't know specifically what the path up here looks like. They're just, Morgiv is just estimating. Um, so don't take that as like a perfectly exact uh, drawing of, of what the path will be. The poop isn't perfect, but that's fine. <laughs> that's good information. It really is. This is actually very Thank useful you. to know. Uh, uh, whereabouts is the barricade that uh, prevents, physically prevents passage? Do you um, know that? I, I'm afraid I, I, I don't know. Um, we, we haven't been up that far, but maybe the giants know. Yeah, the, the spared, uh, we'll all echo that sentiment of Morgiv that they just haven't gone up that way, so they, they wouldn't know. But um, there's some chance that some of the giants might have some additional insight for you. Should you ask we'll definitely them. ask them before we go too far. Depending on how bad the uh, roadblock is, I do have some more explosives. I would have to make them, but I do have them. This did come in handy. They definitely did something. I'm not sure how useful blowing the walls up was, but <laughs> I crushed a couple things and caused a bit of chaos, but... A lot of giants fell down. It was very I entertaining. Guess. Admittedly, we're not here to entertain. We're here to save the world. But... It does feel like we're entertaining we could have been somebody. Fighting a lot greater larger force and had them they could have like potentially um choke held us behind a choke point those I, those fortifications looked pretty significant that they had at the gate having them sit behind that and just poke at us would not have been great true so the walls fell mm -hmm. all right um, sounds like then Grushy is doing some, while that conversation is happening and maps are being drawn and stuff, um, Grushy, you're doing some transfers? I am doing some rune transfers. Um, right. I am going to be taking my precious, precious time, though, as I realize that these are going to be much more difficult to transfer over properly. <laughs> yes. So I'll be doing the... What is it? It's an. I think I can reduce it down to. What, what did we decide? It was an hour at master, or was it? 
for transferring a rune. So, so rune transfer is a day usually, but we were allowing uh, Hasty Crafter to apply to it. Yes. So it was like half a day, then so it's four hours, then two hours at uh, Master, then one hour at Legendary? Yeah. Yeah, we start at eight hours, basically, okay. and then you keep having. Right. So we're just going to do it in four hours, as much as I hate wasting that much time, because doing it much harder actually may not be possible mm. or very All successful. Right. And this uh, is... So let's the, see. It uh, is a DC... Th okay. You've, you've got the DC, it sounds like. Yeah, it's... It's DC 39 uh, base, but it will be plus four for the uh, increase or the increased crafting speed. So okay. DC 30 or 43 total. All right, DC 43, here we go. And I need to do some decent rolling. So I'm actually going to throw hero points at this to make sure that it sticks appropriately. I'll All right, the you, you do have hero points. Apparatus Oops. equipped. There we go. Fate points, rather? Fate points, thank Fate you. Points. Not your points. Uh, <laughs> and well, it helps if I name it correctly when I say it. Uh, so we'll add nine uh, points yeah. to that. Okay. Give it well, a roll. I know I succeed. I just want to critically succeed, though, and see what happens. There we go. <laughs> uh, okay. 55, that sounds oh. like a critical success. Mm-hmm. So it does take an hour and it does cost some amount of gold in resources. Luckily, uh, the yeah. <laughs> chest I still have that I've been constantly feeding all of my gold into over time should be enough to cover that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think room transfer is 10% price. of the cost. Yeah, 10%. Uh, this is okay. a major um, striking. Yeah. Well, you did just get a bunch of money from that. Uh... <laughs> right. So it's going to be 3,106 gold or so. Um, so we'll just uh, be crushing that down over the four hours and making more resources as we slowly transfer it over. I uh, apologize that it's taken this long. I just need to make sure I get it right. All right. I'm not used to this rune. Uh, are you spending what? that from yourself or are you... I am spending I'm spending my my gold right now in fact where is the gold pieces Okay Here we go So 31 guys on this seven. map so that I don't Here we have to switch maps a bunch All right I have spent the gold and transferred Asher's uh transfer to Asher's uh, bow the plus 3 greater striking or major striking excuse me ruined so if you now have Four weapon dice, I think you roll, or three, four. Uh, I think it's three additional weapon dice. So yeah, four total. So four total, every time you attack. You should just be able to edit the weapon and just change the striking rune to a uh, major, and it should do it for you. All right, that was four hours. One, two, three, four. It's two p.m. What do you want to do next? And was I? Was I transferring anything for you, Gon? Or is that um, it? Yeah, I, I think we could... If we're going to spend the whole day here anyway, we could use the, uh, the plus three armor rune. That's then in here. I, I'll do the same then. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, shiny. That well, only did three weapon right, dice. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to change it. Uh, if you edit and then go to details, uh, like go to your inventory, it. select the item, edit, and then details, oh, details. and then ah. and then you can change from striking or from greater striking to uh, major striking, and that should do it. There we go. Thank you. And that Let's see. Plus good. three is 18. Let's see what it does. I have to look at the table. Yeah, armor potency is level 18. Damn it. Rune, uh, DC I'm going to do the same thing I did with uh, Asher's, and I'm just going to take the four hours and take my time with it. Okay. Because it's still uh, pretty difficult. And who are you going to give this plus three rune to? I believe. That is going on to Gun's armor. 
we're okay. going to try and prop up the armor that we've had to take the back plate <laughs> off of so that our gun can use his wings properly. All right. But uh, we'll make it more resilient this way. So uh, that is going to be... I'm just going to throw more points at it. Why not? Okay. Yeah, you do have another stack sticks. of points. All your points Let's are gone. Um, Yay. Well, since everyone else spent their year. points on me last time, <laughs> I'll spend all of my points on you all. Oh. It seems like a fair trade. Y'all did the, bring uh, it back to life after all. The resurrection all right. tax. And I mean, I'm again, pretty hard for me to fail this, but we'll try. Did it actually roll? I don't know if it actually rolled. Uh, hasn't rolled yet. Anything yet. Waiting all patiently. Right, well, I'm try again. Breath. Faded, uh, oh. arms bound. Oh boy, something's not. <laughs> there it goes. I lost connection. Reestablishing. Oh. Did it come through now? No. Mm, nope. It's waiting. There it goes. Yeah. There we go. Fifty nine. I think that's gonna do it. Yep, that should do it. <laughs> like it just might. Good. All right, and so again, was... I'll spend. I'll go ahead and spend my gold on that. And that is twenty thousand, <laughs> so two thousand fifty-six gold. All right. All right. Well, I have now boosted up some armor and some weapons, and spent the whole day doing it. Unfortunately, the spared are all asleep <laughs> around you. They're like, they're taking naps and stuff. <laughs> oh, they're fine to do so. I don't know what the rest of you all were up to. Unfortunately, I did have to borrow weapon and armor. Kept us here, but it's worth it, I think. Presumably training or meditating. I'm go ahead and have him. Yeah. In, yeah. Well, mostly training with uh, breaks every now and then to use this messenger's ring I thought I'd try to send status updates out um, to Mother Tiquettes, the mayor of Sandpoint, um, the captain of the, the what were they called? The, not the Night's Watch, the, um, but actually the Night's Watch. Um, what, the Sandpoint ones or? No, the, the guys in Fort Rannick. Oh, oh, uh, we Asher's left, um, dad and company. Um, yeah, we left him in charge. Yeah. 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 Um, could be the... The Black Arrows. Maybe the... <laughs> the Black Arrows, thank you. <laughs> the um, the mayor of uh, Magnamar would probably not remember me, but I might... Mayor of Ramaris? I can think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shalalu... Um, the if I can if I can recall the name of the we don't need to tell that mayor anything. Go fuck counselor yourself. in Riddleport that we became friends with. Uh, oh, yeah, friends. <laughs> roughly the same message. There is a major event happening in the Northlands. Um. My group is about to ascend um, a mountain after this wizard who's reviving, turning the sky green. Um, keep us in your prayers because if we fail, there doesn't seem to be anyone else here trying to help us run out of words somewhere in the middle there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you you repeat this message uh, ad nauseum. Um, the the others can can hear you saying this every each every time. hour to another <laughs> to a leader um, that we've met. Uh, yeah, and to to some extent, the the answer or like the kind of response you get back from each person is um, is close to along the same lines. Um, everyone expresses some slight amount of confusion or. Uh, inability to fully uh, hear the message or, or relay that there's some static, um, but they they're all able to get the the gist of what's going on. Um, uh, Mayor Grobaris uh, uh, 
your right doesn't remember you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but people like Mother Taquette's, like Shalalu, like Ameko. Um, uh, who else do we got? Um, now I'm blanking on all the Black Arrows names. All of our friends forever. All of your friends. Um, shit, where's the Black Arrows? Come on, Black Arrows. Ah, uh, right. Jakartros, Vale, and Kaven. Um, okay, yeah, Jakartros, Vale. That group that I'll. Oh, just yeah. just Jakartros. Okay, so Jakartros, uh, Shalalu. Spread the information around. He's hi. there. <laughs> okay, Asher and chimes in. Shalalu, I said hi. <laughs> I'm, and I'm, I'm going not for dead. The it's very I'm, important. <laughs> I'm aiming for the most prominent person we know in each settlement in each major area. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, but yeah, they they all express um, uh, <laughs> happiness that you're still alive, uh, trust that you'll be able to do this, um, uh, and some amount of like, if there's anything that we can do to assist, like, please let us know. Um, they're all ready to to help you in whatever way they're able to. Um, all you need to do is ask. Um, but they know that you've got oh, this. Oh, and of course, Saranzel Plum. <laughs> uh, Saranzel Plum. The most prominent. What, what do you think? <laughs> we know in the gnome, known village, gnome village <laughs> community. <laughs> We're assuming he even remembers who we are. We're his um, best customers, come on. Uh, he, two of my, three of my worst customers. <laughs> these awesome you, you actually don't get a direct <laughs> response from him back. Instead, you get what sounds like an answering machine response. <laughs> That's like an advertisement. <laughs> it's like, hello, sorry, but Palm is not taking uh, divinations uh, at this moment. Um, if you'd like to, uh, this message will be uh, recorded for his convenience. Uh, if you would like to contact us, um, you may do so through usual scroll work, um, and he will respond in no. in due time. Uh, also, there's a, a big sale going on for uh, regular striking runes uh, this <coughs> week. Don't make sure to to sign up for the newsletter for all of the uh, that it cuts off. <laughs> I like to imagine that he hired somebody who it's not even Srazzle Plum, he hired somebody to record this for him. It's just this very nice, genteel voice going doing this voiceover. Yes, exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Um well <laughs> buy your striking rune while the iron's That's hot. Good. Thank you. Great great line. Okay. Um but yeah, they, they are all yeah, you get a, a whirlwind of uh, responses uh, hourly, I guess, as you're doing this. Um, with Asher chiming in every once in a while, Greshi piping up from the back. But now you have a new boosted armor. And a boosted bow. What do you do now? I mean... Yeah. It's time to go back to sleep, right? Good no. night. We could try a bit of scouting tonight if we wanted. Um, yeah, we, but could, we could travel somewhat up the line. That's also we true. Have, we have the um, the tent here, the yurt. We can make, we can camp wherever we like, mm -hmm. as long as we, you know, secure it well enough. Quite reasonable to me, I think. I will start packing up my stuff then, so that we can get moving. And time comes. All right. Pack up your things. Get everything sorted. Um. The spirit are all still asleep while you're doing this. Um. After about fifteen minutes, you're you're all packed up and ready to go. Can you transfer any number of runes on and off of a piece at the same time? Not to my knowledge, no. I think it's one at a time. One at a time. I'll double check, but I believe it's one at a time. 
Yeah, I believe it's you can you can do a swap or you can do one one way mm. or one the other way. Okay, so in this case, it's a swap of a plus two for a plus three. Right. So I can I can swap those two around, but I cannot do um, more than one at a time. Okay. No worries. And if I attempt to add more than could be accepted by it, it would just fail to take. Right. Right. So I just got a wing rune on there that I no longer really need. It's a little useless now, isn't it? Um, I could I, no. I'd have to take it off, and that'd be a whole process. Wouldn't be too hard to do, but just to be a process. Someone else could take it if they, if they would be helped. For the time being, I'm all right. I think. Okay. Well, just so yeah, we get we to can, move on. We can move. <laughs> and make an Asher hang out here with us all day. At the map. Well, I don't have a book to read. I could read something else. We have all the spell books. <laughs> yeah, we do. I've You're lost. Welcome to go th- There's yeah. um, I I did lose that. Yeah, thing I've as lost well. it. I all know the there are a bunch. Though. There are a bunch of books. Uh, several different kinds. Um, you can oh, learn about necromancy. The... Here, I can put the. Yeah. I'll put the, the treasure chest. box over here. Ah. There it is. Thank you. The chest on the bedman. Yes. What we have necromancy. You know how much Asher loves. We, there's healing spells in necromancy. Yeah, that's why I said that's specifically why I said it. It's, it does have healing. Um, sure. Conjuration could be useful. Actually, in fact, I'm going to take that, but for later. Um, transmutation and as you're picking through the books, you notice that there's quite a lot of blood on these, on the covers and on some of the pages. Why? Oh no! It, does that include the one, the Passion of the Flesh? <laughs> does that have a lot of blood on it? Yep. <laughs> Can I identify the blood? <laughs> you may have. No, he, it's pretty clear. <laughs> killed all the other this? surviving no. mages in the Rune Forge. I was going to say that is basically the rest of them, isn't it? Because we didn't go like to those. I don't like that. You realize, <laughs> looking at the things in his bag, he's got three additional spell books that don't yeah. belong to him, and three additional stages that, yeah. that also don't belong to him. Don't belong uh, to him. Well. Well, he warned that one lady, so. What you can do? Who on her for not leaving? We did. And for that matter, Delva, he knew that things were up, but... Didn't need her to die like that. All right. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, anyways. Oh no. <laughs> She's dead. I, anyway. I left her to die. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she was a demon, wasn't she, or a devil? What's her sucky by anyway? I guess demon, but. I don't know. Uh, she was helpful. Mm. I went in her back room. I. I have a weird connection to her stuff. <laughs> so... I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable a little bit. That's okay. Uh, sometimes people die. <laughs> and they're not crushy, so I don't bring them back. All true points, I suppose. Well, uh, you welcome to... Uh, Mi- Might of Mithril doesn't have much blood on it. It's a yeah, transmutation one. Yeah, I do like transmutation. There you go. Feel free to browse through that <laughs> if it doesn't make you feel so bad. I like the non bloody one. It's got a, a nice teal cover uh, with like a metallic blue uh, rune on the front of Greed. Where did that go? Aha! Ooh, the movable rod. I didn't even notice that at first. Yeah, I was looking through a lot of the stuff here. So uh, something we're going to have to. <laughs> Out. By the way, I've also uh, thawed out all of those potions we got from the dragons. Oh yes, those oh. are all thawed. Yep. Oh, that's right. So we you didn't like the idea of chewing them. We can hand those out. Um, oh yeah, I'll delete the uh, the major striking I, I already, rune no. mm, and the yeah. potency rune. Okay. I those are the only two things we've distributed officially besides what people have taken already. Okay. And yeah, you guys can sort through that in between sessions. Um, yeah, we'll worry about that. Yeah. Okay, later. but for the time being, I think we're packing up and moving north. Yep, yeah, you've collected your things. Your 
Are you waking up despair to do, or Morgive or anybody to do well, that? Well, it's not their time to wake up, isn't it? They're usually nocturnal, I thought. Um, yeah. So, I mean, they, they aren't awake right this moment, but you could wake them. Well, sure. We're getting a little bit later on night, though, and it's about time for them if they want, if they're okay. willing to come with us. Yeah, you uh, make your way over to Morgiv and uh, tap him on the shoulder, and oh, oh, uh, are are you all ready? Uh, he kind oh, of blinks see. his eyes. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and sits up. Oh, um, I hope you had a nice conversation. Uh, with Mr. Gukak, then. Uh, shall we be off? Oh, we never talked to them. Gukak's the one person I didn't talk to today. <laughs> Go back to bed, little one. Well, if the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you all stare at him for a moment. Look at each other. <laughs> Look at him. He's been so busy, he hadn't even thought about the giants in the all day. I guess oh, we should geez. say, like, at least goodbye to them. Uh, if the sending ring is not back up at the moment, and it probably is. Then I didn't want to talk to him in person, though. Two uses. We can find out where to meet him. Okay, that's fair. Oh, oh if you're looking for him, he said he'd be at Shalaria. <sighs> I, I think is, he's coordinating the giant's movements from there. Is there a decent route to Shalaria now, or is it still down at the mountainside? Still? Um. I mean, you could just fly to it. I mean, it is up the hill, but yeah. That's true. We've taken the, if we've taken the city, we can just fly sort of in our, to, can't we? Yeah, it's sort of we in our just general do whatever we want. correct direction. <laughs> we'll just do whatever we want. Do whatever we want. It's our city. <laughs> Who cares? The ultimate real estate venture. Perfect. Freshy, you have a whole city now. <laughs> it's everything I've ever wanted. Think of all the rent. <laughs> you can be the worst landlord. No. No, landlord's <laughs> a devil. Uh, let's go find Gukak. Do you want to ask him if we can just meet him there, or do you want to just head over? Uh, can tell him that we're on our way. All right. It's no, I mean, it's really quite trivial at this point. And I've got everything packed, so. All right. We're so going to make our way. To see you. Gukak. <laughs> you wave goodbye to Morgiv, who rolls back over and goes back to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Walk the poor guy and up for no reason. Fly, uh, exit the tunnels, and then fly your way over to Shalaria. Um, I'm too lazy to look at how much time that was. So I'm just saying 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 20, 20, 30. It's 30 minutes. Sure. Um, okay, you fly to Shalaria, uh, where you see... Um, so as you're flying that way, you can see uh, there are... Um, clearly, like, giant patrols still wandering the city, but um, none of them seem to react to you um, or, or look in your direction, so you assume they, they must be Q-Cacks, um, or on your side, at least, somewhat. Uh, and you, yeah, you fly, you touch down in the um, courtyard of Shalaria, having sent a message uh, or sending ahead of time. Uh, Gukak is there in the courtyard, central courtyard, uh, along with uh, two cloud giants uh, flanking him. Um, ah, there you are. Asher, gun. Ah. And is that... He, he gives a kind of quizzical look as the... It's still me. Oh, how did you fly over here? Did Don't you look that do different, the same way. thing as you did before? I assume that's going to be our modus operandi for flying Bird. around. I'll just okay. fly on Asher and uh, Rock and Gun. We'll call this the double bird technique. Um, so yes, yeah, so you you dismount Bird. double birds. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's just ah. us flipping people off as we fly through the city. Double birds. <laughs> um, <put> us away. <laughs> I see your new form. It's hmm. It's smaller. It's nice. I know. Small is not so bad. It's something. We were all small. Grishy doesn't know, does he? Mm, I don't think so, no. <laughs> only only no, I don't knows. think that was ever related to him. <laughs> there was there was a comment I was oh. about to make, and then I was like, oh, Grishy doesn't know that. I, I have, I I have a question. I thought sure. we covered this um, 
You and Asher did. Greshi was busy. Yeah, but now I, I have this about it. cool thing. Um, <laughs> true perception. <laughs> yeah, this is my level is nineteen. General feat? Oh, that's grab. true. It is. A, yeah. It's a general feat you picked up, huh? Oh, why are you guys all just taking? <laughs> I want to true sight. <laughs> fine, uh, fine. Uh, I don't see it. If it makes you feel better. I was always going to do this check. even long before. Um. Okay. I'm I mean, not I even think... looking for it. Think so I know this already. Case. So. Oh yeah. Oh That's, yes. I, if, I don't know if what Gun he told is. You, I think I just know it's not. I yeah. Think if okay. Gun told me exactly what he was, but you can you as you approach, your eyes focus, and you start to see through his um, his stone giant form, and can see the slightly shorter, slightly squatter uh, hill giant underneath. Uh, hill giants being the kind of fleshy toned, very kind of round. Um, little dudes. He's still wearing the same kind of mage's robes, um, but yeah, clearly like shorter and plumper, I suppose. Um, ah, mm. Well, now I get to see what Gun sees. I'll look at Gun. Asher looks at Gun real quick <laughs> and then looks back. <sighs> it's good to see that you've come back then. Um, we have news from the front, uh, he says, kind of glancing towards the uh, the northern side of Shalaria. Um, the it's been an interesting couple of days now, or uh, yes, I guess it's been um, yeah. Has, has it been two days? I guess this is the second day since. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's been an interesting Steve couple of... the one, and you spent one night there. Two nights. Yeah, mm -hmm. two nights. Uh, it's been an interesting couple of nights um, since <coughs> our joint attack on Shalaria. Um, after you took out um, some of the rune giant leaders, many of uh, our brethren seemed to instantly give in. Um, it was very odd. They... Many of the, our foes lost the will to fight right away. Um, we've since increased our numbers significantly, but... Um, at the very least, we've been able to hold the city itself from any further incursion. Um, we've sent some of our men down south to treat with the um, giants holding the southern path. Um, many of them are willing to join our cause as well. Um, as for the the path to Zinshalast, however, uh, sorry, the path to the um, the Rising District, um, we know that they have uh, placed many giants um, of differing types um, up the the main road. Uh, I'll here. I'll just do kind of uh, over here. Um, so, uh, on the kind of exit, uh, on the, the initial climb out of the city, um, into the Rising District, there are a number of, uh, giants still stationed. They've been trying to, uh, lead attacks into the, uh, into the lower district since then, but so far haven't made any progress. Um, we've also, our, our cloud giant scouts have spotted a number of, um, a large number of giants at the southern portion of the Great Bridge. Um, and he would, uh, sure, he'll he'll draw out on the sand with some, or in the snow with prestidigitation. Um, we similarly believe there to be some various smaller troops stationed throughout the Rising District. They seem to know that you're... Well, um... As far as we can understand, um, the the defectors have mentioned that they've been preparing for uh, what sounds like your arrival for some time now. Um, at the Great Bridge, they even have some kind of new weapon, um, some kind of disintegration cannon. Um, 
they expect you to approach via the sky and plan to shoot you down the moment they see you. So I would be careful about any aerial approaches from, at least from the south. Um, let me think. Is there it's anything else that we've learned for Thank you? you. Uh, it is no problem. After all you've done for us, I'm glad that our people have managed to withstand very few casualties up to this point. Um, we can try to arrange an escort for you um, into the upper city if uh, defeating Karzug is truly your aim. Um, we would need a strong contingent. Well, I've no wish to slay any more of your countrymen on either side of this battle. Uh, we believe we have an alternative solution. An alternative solution? Uh, he raises an eyebrow. Um, <coughs> I see. He's actually going uh, to... There's another... Hmm. No, he... If you, if you start to say there's another, he holds up a finger. And thinks for a moment... Hmm. No, I must insist. We should have a a group assembled together to escort you through the city. Um, I can't imagine that you'll be able to take this on your own. He kind of just nods at you. If you insist. Why is he insisting so much? Uh, give me a perception check. Can I? Can I, I? I was trying to insight or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's perception to insight. So secret perception. There we go. I rolled a question mark. Yeah. Um, double secret. You think he's worried about being overheard? Are there others around besides, I mean, besides the obvious here? There are two cloud giants the with him and him. himself, but it's just the the group of you. Nobody else? Here in the courtyard. Mm. Still seems concerned, though. Okay. I, that's fair. We could take an escort, I suppose, if you think it's necessary. We'll continue to arrange I mean, plans over sending. Very well. But, but I think this is the best route that gives us the mo the greatest chance for success. Yes. And actually, does he have that spell? Given that uh, we could fly, approaching from the east seemed like a valid option, but if you insist. Hmm. It is dangerous. Uh, he then continues, like, mouthing some words, but doesn't speak aloud. Um, Gun, you, you hear in your head, um, I believe Karzu can... hear us in some way. The other giants have mentioned it, and perhaps it is in fact best if we don't speak our plans too openly. I can, mm. I can message back if this is a message. Yeah, it's message. I can reply back. He can hear and see through his thralls any who have his sigil. Perhaps more if we get closer to his fortress. I see. Perhaps I am being paranoid then, as long as there are no thralls around. Sometimes the rune giant's actions have been oddly prescient. They are definitely the most dangerous of Excellent the Excellent precaution, either way. We know uh, just... Can't say that. Yeah, the, the <laughs> gun and gun and Grushy or, or gun and uh, <laughs> Geekhack are just kind of mouthing words at each other for a little bit. Um, That's fine. 
Okay, she's just watching. Okay. Read we'll, lips, uh, Rashi, quick. I can't read lips. I can't we'll be either. in touch as we work out the details. Gukak nods. Um, we shall begin making preparations. He says with another nod. Um, Is there a way to mark things in the treasure pool for someone else to take? I don't think so, but you could give it to them. You might be able to just drag it to onto their character, maybe. Where did everybody's characters go? Oh, you're all right here. I see. <laughs> Where we were before? Where'd you think we went? I, I thought this was the combined icon. Oh. <laughs> Is that even the order I put them in? No, it's inverted. Um. Hmm. Well, should you need any further information, let me know. Uh, that's most of what I can uh, been able to glean from our scouts and the small scuffles that we've had, um, as well as the various informants. Um, oh, by the way, do you... Hmm. Uh, he will message again. Um, have some way of getting past the uh, occlusive, uh, sorry, uh, occluding field. Uh, we have a few options, yes. We have an option other than the rings which we've taken from the lieutenants. I see. He says with a nod. Um, which and will hold for safekeeping. They are not safe to use. <clears throat> I know that um, Karzug's forces in the Rising District have all needed to have the rings um, present on their purse, or uh, worn um, to even leave the lower district. So if you're making any attempt up that way, you may run into some resistance at some point. I haven't gone past this field myself, so I can't say I know much more about it, but... <laughs> um, the the giants I have spoken have to who have been to the, something. to the summit have said that uh, it gets stronger as you go up. Um, and that the, the peak, the place they call the Pinnacle of Avarice, um, is somewhat of a hard shell that is impenetrable without the rings. That's what I was expecting. And uh, we do have um, potentially a way to pierce that barricade. Good. Uh, and then he'll re repeat the, the good in uh, actual voice. Um, good. Then I believe you're all set then. I have two more minor pieces of information for you. Uh, you may want to, in addition to our spared allies, uh, I may have forgotten to mention that part of their tribe has been turned to vampires by another of Karzu's lieutenants known as the Hidden Beast. If you encounter them, I recommend avoiding them. Ah, are those and... the... Those must be the agile ones. They've been helping us um, at the Northern Gate these past two nights. Oh. Excellent. Even better. I thought their powers the were odd, the, but the tribes vampires be... I had not considered. Cooperation between these three, two or three tribes would uh, will set a great foundation for the future of all your peoples, I think. Uh, another Indeed. is there's a there's a small settlement, a dwelling really on the along the lake south of here at the edge of the region with his protected um, that is to be left alone by a, anyone who encounters it, if you please. Do you mean the ice mists? 
Yes. Hmm. Very well. We had no intention of, or I had no intention of going to the place, but I shall see that, see to it that none of the other, uh, none of my kin are inclined to if go there either. If your people are leaving the, the mountain, best to just steer clear. We, we will eventually, but if you truly f intend to finish this, then we shall wait here beh uh, behind you and beside you for as long as need be. Oh, that is certainly appreciated. <coughs> Once Karzug is finished, right. then me and my people can finally leave. Well, I think our intentions are to rest the night and investigate the road tomorrow. So You've got nods. Yeah, if we could, in fact, take a meal here and then find a place to bunker down, that would be appreciated. Very well. What remains of the fortress is fairly well defended. Um, you may have your pick of the rooms. You, a points to one of the cloud giants, lead them to a safe place. And you uh, will need to summon additional force or additional um, guards uh, for Shalaria tonight. The two giants salute, and one leads you to some chambers, and the other goes to do some message passing. Message passing. All right. Anything else for this day? No. Covered uh, things. Greshi, if you have time to do any more fiddling. Um, oh, more transfers, you think? You could attempt to remove the wing drone from Gun's armor. It's not a big problem if it gets damaged, but you could... I mean... Add it to uh, to someone else's if they have a space for it. Is transfer transfer between item or item and yeah, item you could do permitted, direct, you correct? can do item to item in one... Yeah, okay. And this is just the standard wing turn? Yes. Okay. Um, if anyone's interested... Yeah, but either. Uh, I mean, unless unless you need it off for some reason, I don't think. Unless Asher wants it. I just figured it could be something that we could do Asher can relatively quickly. Oh, you could through. use it. I I could take an hour tonight, oh, but crashy. I I got better flying options most of the time. But uh, yeah, I think I'm alright. If you had nothing else to to do with your time. It's just a, an option. That's true. I, uh, the other side of it is I've done eight hours of crafting today. I'm not sure if I'm able to do more or if that's... Mm. Uh, yeah, I would say you're pretty tired of crafting. That's, that, that was really <laughs> what I was trying to... What I was thinking that's was the problem, fair. but otherwise yeah. I would actually, actually would have done so. But that's it's fair. okay. You could do it. You would just be fatigued tomorrow. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to want to do that because I've no. got a spell slot to fix. Yep. Which is actually not that... Uh, high level spell slots, but anyway... Um, oh, I did want to mention in here there was an item. The Choker of Elocution might be handy for you. Go on. I don't think I would wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. No, but you might still want to have it since the two languages oh, that it teaches. I know both of them. Asher knows ah. one of them. And you know oh, I guess I assumed this, but did Greshi recast Endure Elements on everybody today? I did. I... Okay. Thank you. So only second level, but still recast. I'm just doing that standard until Okay. Well, now you have, there's we a wand of Endure Elements, I think. We can s recapture a slot there. Um, where did that treasure go? There it is. Yeah, well, there's if... a lot of things here you should... Okay, I'll grab the Choker of Elocution. You gra I'm probably going to grab ultimately... Um, Porticon's bag. Uh, 
All right. Well, I guess I'll let you guys, you spend the next couple of hours then sifting through your gear, sorting your own items to make sure that you've got everything prepared mm-hmm. for your journey up, uh, reconsidering uh, any mm-hmm. of your plans, uh, and prepping for a potential ascent to on the morrow. Um, you know that you will eventually need some form of uh, breath control or air once you get into mm-hmm. the death zone. Um, you know that you'll need some way to bypass uh, any barriers. You know that you'll need some uh, some way of dealing with the extreme cold. Um, but all those things, uh, you yeah, have plenty of tools at your disposal. Uh, so I think with that, uh, that's a good place as any to, uh, call it an end to the, to session for today, to session. Sure. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're back. (laughs) Um, we should be back next week as well. So, uh, stay tuned. Uh, the, the climb begins for real, uh, next time. Or does it? Or does it? Yeah. Uh, or does it? <laughs> Maybe they'll forget more things that or they we did forgot to do. <laughs> no, you got it. This is a lot, a lot of cleanup and wrap up. Uh, but yes, next we're time good. we're good. Possibly an ascension or something vaguely in that direction. Come back. Bye.